Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come out here and talk about the Dr. Umar drama that's going viral on social media. So if you guys do not know, Umar Johnson is going viral because basically he's calling out both Kendrick Lamar and Drake, okay? He's saying that he wants to know Kendrick Lamar's intentions with the song, Not Like Us. And we all know the video dropped recently, and I know I never did a review on it, but y'all know if you follow me on Instagram or on Discord. I love the video. I was here for it, and kudos to Kendrick for putting his wife and children in the video. So now with that being said, Umar's upset because he feels like Kendrick Lamar is dissing African Canadians and he's being divisive and, you know, he wants to know what's the tea, like what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? Do you have an issue with other black people that are not from the American diaspora? So I'm going to go ahead and play that video for you guys. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. As the prince of Pan-Africanism, they said Dr. Umar, and I'm paraphrasing, the good brothers brought it to my attention that Kendrick Lamar's song, They Not Like Us, was interpreted by many American Africans to mean that African Canadians are not African. That African Canadians are not African. That African Canadians are not African. Let me say this to the entire African diaspora. Let me say this to the American African and the Canadian African. Let me say this to the American African and the Canadian African. Let me say this to the American African and the Canadian African. We are one people. We are one family. We have one common ancestry. We have one common origin. We have one common source. We are the original people. My American Africans, don't you alienate yourself from Canadian Africans. Canadian Africans, don't you alienate yourself from the American African. We are one family. We are the North American Africans. I said, if you are a Mexican African, a North American African, or a Canadian African, we are collectively the North American Africans. United we stand, divided we fall. My Canadian brothers and sisters, they are my family. Toronto is my family. Montreal is my family. And if anybody tries to make jokes about the Canadian Africans, if anybody tries to say that my brothers and sisters north of the border are not members of the African family. If anybody tries to claim that the Canadian African is not a part, an integral part, an important part of the body of African people, then you are an enemy to Dr. Umar, and you are an enemy to African people, and you are a enemy of the pan-African struggle. Now, I don't know if my brother Kendrick Lamar, who I love and respect, I don't know if my brother Kendrick Lamar, who I love and respect, I don't know if my brother Kendrick Lamar intended to alienate all African Canadians, all Canadian Africans. I did not think that was his intent. I did not think that that was Kendrick Lamar's intent. I did not think that that was Kendrick Lamar's intent. I believe Kendrick Lamar was simply going at Drake for the beef. I did not think that the song, They Not Like Us, was a shot at all African Canadians. So I'm going to ask my brother Kendrick Lamar, can you please clear that up? I'm going to ask my brother Kendrick Lamar, can you please clear that up? I'm going to ask my brother Kendrick Lamar, can you please clear that up? Did you intend to slight all Canadian Africans when you said they not like us? Are you trying to say that Canadian Africans are different from American Africans? I don't believe Kendrick Lamar was trying to say that. I don't believe Kendrick Lamar was trying to say that. I don't believe Kendrick Lamar was trying to say that, but I do want my brother Kendrick to clarify because according to my good brother Alex and my other brother from Toronto who interviewed me yesterday, according to them, many American Africans are insulting Canadian Africans. Many American Africans are going on the blogs with the Drake Kendrick beef and you are attacking and insulting Canadian Africans. I will not stand for that. I will not stand for that. 
No African should ever be the enemy of another African. United we stand, divided we fall. I stand in solidarity with Canada. <clears throat> I stand in solidarity with Black Canada. Those are my brothers and sisters. And I will see y'all October 5th and October 6th. All right, so you guys just saw that video. You guys heard what he had to say to Kendrick. Then he also came back to confront Drake as well. So he basically is demanding that Drake clarify his racial identity. He wants to know if Drake sees himself as biracial or if he sees himself as a black man. And he wants that cleared up, I guess, by sunset. I don't know. <laughs> but um, it also sounds like he's low-key begging for a Drake feature or something. You know, he needs that Drake stimulus package. Because why do we have to know that you're going to be in Canada in the dates and that you want to meet with Drake? But anyways, y'all go ahead and check out this video, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. And for my brother Drake, I need you to clarify whether or not you are a black man. Some people are claiming my brother Drake, who I love and respect, my brother Drake, who I love and respect, some people is claiming that you embrace a mixed race identity, that you do not embrace a black first identity. So I have to ask my brother Drake to clear the record for me, Dr. Umar Ifatunde. Maybe we can have a sit down when I come to Toronto, October 5th and 6th. But I need you to clarify that for me, brother Drake. Brother Drake, I need you to clarify. Are you a black first black man? Or do you identify as mixed race? Or do you identify as untouchable first? Are you, do you primarily identify as an untouchable? Do you identify as mixed race? Or are you a black first black man? I need to notice my brother Drake. I need to notice my brother Drake. You have to clarify this for me. Some people believe you only claim black when it's convenient. Some people believe you only claim to be black when it's convenient. I've never seen you do that, but I don't follow you that closely. I don't follow Kendrick that closely. I don't follow none of the modern era rappers that closely. Most of my favorite rappers are in the 80s and the 90s. So out of respect for my brother Drake, who I will consider to be an African, who I will consider to be my brother until he says otherwise. But my concern with my brother Drake, you've been at the forefront for a long time, and we should clearly know what you identify as. Are you black all the time? Or are you black some of the time? Because if you are only black some of the time, I'm here to tell you, you're not black any of the time. You gotta pick a side and stay on it, my brother. You gotta pick a side and stay on it. And I'm not accusing my brother Drake of anything. I'm not accusing my brother Drake of anything. I'm not accusing my brother Drake of anything. I'm simply asking my brother to clarify. Do you identify as black first? Or are you mixed race first? Or are you Jewish first? I just need clarity, my brother. All right, so you guys just saw that video. And, you know, Drake is a conflicted biracial. We all know this. I mean, basically, that was the whole point of Kendrick Lamar's song. Lil baby, help you get your lingo up. What, 21, get your first street cred. Um, regardless of what Drake identifies as, he's still biracial. He has a white Jewish mother and a black father. That line is just me speaking to the other side of things, which is like, yo, sometimes, like, you know, um, some of, like, my, my blackest friends can be just as as cruel on the other end, um, you know, by, by making you feel excluded um, or making you feel like you're not, uh, you're not, you can't get in on this. <laughs> and, and sometimes I do feel like, sometimes I do feel like if, uh, you know, sometimes I don't feel celebrated when I know maybe somebody else would be celebrated mm -hmm. for those accomplishments, you know? Yeah. I don't feel like people say when, 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 when Drake is the artist of the decade, I don't think anybody says, wow, a black artist is the artist of the decade. I don't think anybody says that, really. I never heard anybody say that in the last few weeks. Um, you know, and I associate, my, you know, I, I associate myself as a black man. So for me, um, I, yeah, it just, it's sometimes I, I, I some, it's something that I just acknowledge and I just keep it moving, but... So he can identify as black if he feels the need to. But me personally, I consider him biracial. Um, you know, as far as the whole Kendrick thing, Kendrick didn't diss every African in Canada. He didn't diss Mexican Africans. He's calling out Drake. His beef is with Drake, not the entire Canada. Drake's beef is with Kendrick, not the entire city of Compton or the state of California. So I don't understand like how Umar doesn't understand this and he's ranting and raving and talking. 
I think it's just a bit much. At this point, I think Umar's just looking for attention because none of this makes any sense. The song is literally three months old. The video is several weeks old and you're wanting a clarification from Drake. You want a clarification from Kendrick. But yet and still, you have yet to clarify to the people when this school will be done. He's been building this school literally for years. When will the school finally open so, you know, the, the black children, the black boys that you supposed to build this school for, when can they enjoy the school? I think that's the only question that you need to be worried about answering. I could care less what Drake has to say, and people who have common sense knows that Kendrick did not diss the entire black diaspora. When he said, you're not like us, he's talking to Drake and people who think like Drake. So with that being said, y'all, y'all know Umar is a trip. But let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I want to hear from y'all. How do y'all feel about Umar Johnson questioning Kendrick and his intentions? And how do you guys feel about him wanting a clarification from Drake? Do you feel like Umar is just once again trolling and looking for attention? And then how do you guys feel about Pan-Africanism in general? Do you feel like all black people, diaspora, need to connect and be together? Or do you feel like it's okay for people from different parts of the world, even though we share the same skin tone, to have different cultures and, you know, different things like that? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Umar Johnson, please don't forget to like the video. Feel free to share the video. And most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us in tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family.